right? So if you see, uh, look at the successful products which come from these coating technology all over the world. Like you can see that the water repellent coatings which you have on automobiles, uh, windshields or, or the rear view mirrors. This was uh, like you have it commercialized in Japan. Then you have uh, uh, the architectural glasses which, which have certain solar control coatings. That those coatings are also mostly commercialized either in Japan or Germany or France. Like most of the development has taken place in Europe. But in, as far as India is concerned, you don't have this technology available in market. So this was a driving force for us to start this center, uh, which I told you is a joint technology demonstration center in collaboration with a German company. So we have a, a wide variety of facilities that have been set up. And uh, what we do is we organize uh, business opportunity workshops because our institute's mandate is mainly to attract industries for the technologies we develop and to transfer them to the industries. So we uh, organize business opportunity workshops where we demonstrate the process to the industry participants and then we have a one-on-one -on -one discussions with the industrial participants about the technology. And then it goes for development, again, fine-tuning for a particular uh, uh, product which the industry wants and then it goes for a transfer. So if you look at the um, focus of our coatings, right now we, we are all focusing, like our center is focusing on the solar selective coatings because you know that uh, solar energy, now harnessing the solar energy is becoming the focus all over the world. So one of the main applications of our uh, nanocomposite coatings is to make coatings on the for the solar thermal applications where you can generate power using the solar energy. So we make solar selective coatings on the absorber tubes by our process and we also make anti-reflective coatings on glass tubes which are again used in the solar thermal power plants. Like as far as these applications are concerned, we are already working with the industry in India and uh, our coatings, our coated products have been supplied to the industry and they have been field tested. So now it's more or less going to the market uh, stage, market trial stage. And we also work for the automotive sector where we work on uh, corrosion protection coatings on aluminum. You must have heard of uh, chromate-free coatings, the hexavalent chromates, which are toxic. They are carcinogens, actually. And uh, in India, because of uh, not so stringent uh, pollution control measures, people are, the industry is still using uh, chrome plating before painting, they do the chrome plating and they use hexavalent chromium. And the, after making the uh, chromating, they just throw the baths into the drain. Whereas in Europe, there is a very strict pollution control. Like after 2007, they have put a strict uh, control on automobiles uh, that they should not have any chromating done on the structural materials of the automotive, automobiles bodies. So which is not there still in India. So we are developing chrome-free coatings for corrosion protection on aluminum which could be used for the automotive sector and we also make scratch resistant coatings on transparent plastics where like for example if you want to reduce the weight of an automobile so you can do it by replacing the glass parts by uh, plastic parts so the glass windshields could be replaced by polycarbonate like transparent plastic windshields but as you know the plastics are not scratch resistant so when you have the wipers going up and down they will make scratches and the visibility is lost. So uh, if there is a uh, proposal of changing uh, or replacing the uh, glass windshields to plastics, then you need to have a protective coating, a transparent protective coating which will withstand the wiper blade abrasions. So we are developing that for the automotive sector. And of course, for the architecture sec uh, sector, we are doing the decorative coatings on glass, the ceramics and plastics, and also the self-cleaning coatings, which are already popular in Germany and Japan, but in India, it's not popular. So we are trying to uh, demonstrate that to the industry and transfer the technology. And we also work on um, flame retardant, water resistant coatings on wood. And for the commercial sector, I would uh, just put this uh, slide because this would be quite interesting, I thought. Just a minute, yeah. So our coatings are also uh, proved to be anti-tarnish, like they resist the tarnishing. So if you look at uh, the jewelry articles made of uh, silver, you know that silver gets tarnished very fast. So our coatings, we found that they are quite uh, 
anti tarnish uh, so if you look at that sheet which is of course made of brass parts the uppermost uh, piece is only coated all the other parts are uncoated and you can see that it's almost now 27 months since this upper uh, piece was coated so it still retains its gloss whereas all the other pieces have become tarnished and they've become black in color so uh, one of the um, representatives from the industry who came from the jewelry division he was quite fascinated by this demonstration what we made so they wanted a coating on the silver jewelry articles silver and gold and maybe it will extend to the platinum also to provide the anti tarnish property so right now we are working with the jewelry company for providing this anti tarnish coatings and um, yeah i think i have covered whatever we are working on with regard to the applications but the applications are very uh, like vast. You can always think of application in any area. So like even if you're a biotechnologist or anything, even for the instruments what you use, like for example the windows what you use, if they are susceptible to uh, you know bacterial fouling or something, you can always have a coating on the windows which are used in the lenses of microscopes. The coatings can be deposited by this technique like antibacterial coatings, anti-fouling, hydrophobic coatings. So you can use these coatings for any any application. So I would like to end my talk here. I mean, I would like to uh, welcome you to our institute anytime. It's an open invitation. The students here, I mean, you can spread the word. Though you are the only person here, you can spread the word and um, have fun. <laughs>